some bass on that one. It's a big white crop. Ooh. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. It's a beautiful day in early February. I could almost be in a t-shirt today. And I'm fishing a, a lake here with the dock. And yesterday I did a lot of catch and release fishing. Today, I'm gonna try to bring home a limit. Probably caught 30 yesterday here in a short time. Here and only in here. <laughs> and I even got a double header. They were thick in there. So hopefully they're in there thick again today. Thanks for coming along. Well, before we get started, I'll show you what we're using. I've got a little 32nd ounce pink head with a crappie magnet body with the split tail. The hook just goes right through where the two splits come together. And that gives a really interesting uh, silhouette. And then about 12 inches down, I've got a little, little round head jig. This is probably maybe 150th or something. With a little whack em stack em jig body. And they were biting on both of these, so see if we can get something on our first cast here. <laughs> yeah, first cast. That one was about eight feet down. Just letting it fall. All of a sudden I saw the line stop. That's probably a probably a nine, nine and a half inch white crappie. There's so many in here, they said I could take home a limit out of this lake, so anything smaller than that will let go, but this size and up will be a keeper. Okay, well, that's my first first one on the other side of the dock, actually. This time on the on the bottom jig. It's a nice thick black crappie. Perfect eating size fish. Seen they're a little deeper today, and they're they're biting a little softer. But I'd say it's uh, safe to say the fish are all still here. Pretty much every cast, right in the top of the mouth. I'm just, I'm just pitching it out, leaving my bale open for about five or six seconds, then closing my bale and just letting that that lure kind of pendulum fall towards me, trying to keep my line tight, and then it just feels like a little bit of weight on it, or sometimes a tap. A lot of times I'm just seeing my line go. A different direction I'm not even feeling the bite so this is this is amazing amazing crappie fishing right now Hey, this is my good friend Josh. Howdy folks. He's one of my a number of 
one fan. Subscriber number three. He's my number three fan. <laughs> He's got a thousand and thirty nine of you beat. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just that trick. Mainly bluegill. Honestly, I like bluegill better than I think bluegill is my favorite fish. can't believe it's February 3rd and I'm fishing in my t-shirt here in central Indiana <laughs> it's I'll take it I like it I'm not gonna object we got about I think a dozen crappie in that cooler so far probably caught 20 or so it's going good you see the eagle how far does that lake go? There's at least this much on the other side. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you see any houses on the water? I didn't see any, no. Okay. It just looks like this. Did you see those cranes or whatever they are? Yeah, those sand hills. Yeah. All right. So, see you, bro. Hey, that's the fish of the day so far. That's probably a, I'll measure it later. I'm guessing 11 inch white crappie, thick one. And you know, they are really liking this, uh, this pink head with that little split tail, kind of pink and chartreuse uh, crappie magnet body. <laughs> it's a good time. It's a real good time. I thought I had a bass on that one. That's at least, that's a good 12 inch fish. That's a big white crappie. Whoa. Again on the trout man. Look at that solid fish. Right over there in that corner. I'm just jigging about six, seven feet down. Can you hear those sandhill cranes? They're so pretty. This has turned into the magic spot all of a sudden. Try a little jigging right here. Give a little little wiggle and jiggle. And hit it on the fall. Oh, that one went for the bottom jig. We'll, I think we'll throw that guy back. going for the bottom jig. Something's changed, I'm not sure what. That's a nice chunky fish. 
It's got some shoulders on them. I think we'll catch maybe maybe five or six more for the for the fish fry and we'll call it good. Well, friends, my hands are slimy and my heart's full. It's been a great session. I think I've caught about 30 or 35 so far. We got about 20 in our cooler. I'll show them to you here in a minute. I'd say the clear winner today was this little pink head with the uh, crappie magnet body on it. Chartreuse with kind of a pinkish white bottom. Probably three out of every four fish I caught on this one. But I did catch a decent amount on this little guy too, so. Here's our cooler. We got a lot of nine to 11 inch fish in there. We did get into a couple of real nice 11 and 12 inch whites. Kept a few that are probably just barely nine that were hooked a little bit deep. Got some nice thick, uh, these thick black crappies too. Anyway, I've only fished, I've only really gotten into crappie fishing the last couple of years. And uh, I can see why people get addicted to it. There's something fun about catching these little fish. And they're so tasty too. So, uh, boy, this dock has just been phenomenal. And uh, just casting it out and kind of letting it slowly drop, do a pendulum swing towards you. Or you could see sometimes I was just slowly walking along the edge of the dock too. And you know, all the fish were down pretty much, I'd say six to six to eight feet on average. You know, I just switched my bottom jig out for this uh, black and chartreuse. It's a company called Old Blue out of Missouri. I think it's called like a Joker Bell or something. And I've caught four fish now. Everyone's on this one, and they're ignoring the uh, they're ignoring the crappie magnet now. So who knows? Maybe they just got tired of seeing those little colors, but that's crazy how just going to the black and chartreuse totally switched the bite and it's just kind of on fire again. I thought I was done. Hey, thanks for coming along everyone. That might have been the best couple hours of crappie fishing in my life. Probably caught 40 and we're bringing home close to 25. We'll do it again. Remember, a bad day's fishing ain't a bad day.